Okay guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel and today we're testing out the brand new M16 aftermarket part that has just come out that actually makes the M16 fully automatic. However, if you guys have been playing zombies for a while now, you would actually know once you pack a punch the normal M16, it becomes fully automatic anyway. So overall, I'm not sure how th how differently this is going to play to the M16 once it's pack-a-punched, as opposed to just having it fully automatic off the rip anyway. So we'll be testing it out. The M16 with the uh, where with when it's pack-a-punched overall, with just it normally being three burst, is actually pretty powerful in zombies. So I'm excited to see what this aftermarket part is going to do to the weapon and see if it's going to make it any stronger than the normal M16 anyway. But I'm just not too sure how it is going to play in general. As you can see there, we are taking out tier 2 zombies without too many issues about the gun having any upgrades. And as always, I am fully equipped for this gun to be the max rarity. So we are obviously going to be taking it up to there at some point within this game. I did also bring in mags of holding just in case we wanted to try it out with the mags of holding as well. But the one thing I will say with the M16 normally, once it does become fully automatic after you pack a punch in it. So after you go from a burst weapon into a pack a punch weapon, it becomes fully automatic. It normally has a lot of recoil. But as you can see, if I just spray a full mag right now, this gun doesn't really move. It is a very, very easy to control gun. Like, it's a super, super easy to control gun. And it does decent damage. But let's whack it up to tier 1 Pack-A-Punch now. And imagine if it actually turned it into a burst weapon and fully automatic. But it doesn't. It is going to keep it fully automatic. And it is going to be taking care of tier 2 zombies. And just tier 1 Pack-A-Punch with no problems at all. So, so far, the gun does feel very, very nice. It actually feels slightly better than if you was to normally pack a punch it because, like I said before, you're just not going to have that massive recoil that it normally does come with. The gun is super, super easy to control. It's not got a lot of recoil. Like, if I don't even touch my analog that much, it's, it's still very, very easy to control. So, this is probably a better option, to be honest, than pack a punch it because, like I said, it is a little bit more easy to control. But let's try it against this Disciple here, see what sort of damage we can do to a Tier 2 Disciple with just Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch. We'll try and take out some of those zombies that are around, stop the Disciple healing up if we can. We've got, a little, we've got a few zombies around here. But the Disciple is already down to half HP. Let me get out of the way because I could be going down here if I'm not too careful. Let me get a couple plates on. I mean, for just Tier 1 Pack-A-Punch in the Tier 2 zone, it is not doing bad damage to the Disciple at all, to be honest. It really isn't doing that bad a damage. Big horde of zombies behind us. We should be able to take care of that without too many problems. And then after this, we will be heading straight into that tier 3 zone and seeing what sort of damage we can do there. But that's the Disciple taken down. To be honest, for a tier 1 pack a bunch in a tier 2 zone, I really don't think it was that bad. But let's go ahead and jump into the tier 3 zone now and see what we can do there. We are going to go ahead and tier 2 pack a punch it straight away because, of course, you are not going to be going into a tier 3 zone with a tier 1 pack a punch gun. It's just not going to happen unless it's something like the RGO or the crossbow. But now, of course, in the tier 2 zone, you're going to be able to take out these zombies with no problems whatsoever. So hopefully at some point we can also hit the brand new Dark Aether zone as well. If we do get lucky enough to do that, that'd be a great little thing to do. Even if it's not the new one, just one Dark Aether zone. I didn't bring any sigils in with me, so I might have to join a different team that might be doing a Dark Aether zone to maybe be able to do that. But as you can see, we are now rolling up into that tier 3 zone right about now. So we'll be able to test what this gun's going to be like. Of course, if it's not that strong, I'll just go ahead and stick a Legendary Aether tool on it straight away. Because, of course, that does make a nice difference to the damage. And as we always do, we just chuck a Legendary Aether tool on. And then we will look at tier 3 pack a punch in. And, of course, in case you guys didn't realise, we did go from a 60 round mag pack a punch in it up to 120 round mag. Which is kind of what you'd expect, to be fair, with a pack a punch gun. But it is always nice to check, just in case there is a little bit of a... A secret that you didn't know about you know sometimes you do get slightly bigger magazines than just double but sometimes or majority of the time even you don't just not doing horrendous damage to the tier 3 zombies but it's not doing amazing so we are going to go ahead and chuck on that legendary aether tool right about now and see what sort of difference that is going to make to the gun and if i'm honest for just a tier 2 pack a bunch gun legendary aether tool you are quite easily able to take care of these tier 3 zombies without many problems whatsoever like it big horde of zombies was in front of us just a moment ago and we have very easily been able to take care of that big horde if i can pop a little reload i do maybe need speed cola because the reload's not the fastest on this m16 if we're totally honest but i mean taking care of zombies is not a problem for this m16 as of so far so i'm very excited to get up to tier three pack a punch as well see what it's going to be like there as well as seeing what it's going to be like against things like mega abominations high value targets Disciples, Mimics, Manglers, all of that sort of good stuff. The M16 so far, I will say it feels slightly better than the, the normal M16. And the reason I say that again is, one, it doesn't have that recoil. And it is, you kind of, the gun is built more to be fully automatic rather than you build it to control a burst and then it actually goes to fully automatic. So it does feel slightly stronger. 
with this conversion kit on, making it fully automatic, than just pack a punch it to become fully automatic. But right, guys, I think we might as well just up this two tier three pack a punch, make it the best possible version of the gun that we can. Because why not at this point? We have tested out a tier two pack a punch. It was pretty solid. So let's go ahead and see what it's going to be like up at tier three now. And I'm very, very excited to test this gun out, if I'm honest. And it looks like our first test with it at tier three pack a punch might actually be against a high value target uh, disciple, which isn't too bad of a test for the gun. But, I mean, these tier three zombies are just getting absolutely dropped now with a tier three pack a punch. This gun does feel ridiculously strong. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It does feel really, really nice. Like I said, the M16 normally is actually a very strong gun, but I think it does feel slightly better having this aftermarket part than what it does if you was just to normally go ahead and pack a punch it. So we've got a couple of Mimics rolling up on us, and that Mimics health has been absolutely rinsed through, taking care of both of them Mimics already. I mean, just about taking care of them. There we go. That is both Mimics down. It feels really strong, guys. I'm going to be honest. It does feel really, really nice. So I've got this Disciple in front of us now. Let's try and get its attention, try and hit some critical shots on it, even though it is currently healing up off of somebody, I believe. We'll pop a quick reload, though. We'll stop it healing up. We'll try and shoot that hand out if we can. There we go. Try and crack some more of them headshots, just like so. Already down to half HP. Already taking more health down. Yeah, this M16 is feeling real nice. That's that taken care of, just like so. Absolutely lovely. And we get a tier 3 pack a punch crystal. Have they buffed the tier 3 loot by any chance? I haven't seen a tier 3 pack a punch crystal out of tier 3 loot in a long, long time, if I'm totally honest with you guys. I can't remember the last time I saw a tier 3 in just the normal tier 3 zone. But so far, this M16 feels really, really nice. And I mean, against normal zombies, they just get dropped so, so quickly. Like, you can see just how fast you can take care of these tier 3 zombies. There's not a problem at all. I mean, it was doing it at tier 2 with the legendary for tool. So, I'm not surprised it's doing it at tier 3 with the legendary for tool on it. Like, it is just a very, very powerful gun. And as I keep saying, I think this low-key might be better than just the normal M16. So, if you guys have ever used the normal M16 and you've enjoyed using that, I recommend you guys go ahead and give this class a try. So we have got another bounty target. I was kind of hoping it might have been a Mega Abomination because I do definitely want to test this against a Mega Abom before we do go into a Dark Aether Zone or something along those lines. But it is going to be another Disciple. And as you saw, we managed to do good damage to the last Disciple. So I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do good damage for this one. Pop a reload. Speed Cola has made a nice difference to the reload speed that we do have. Carry on focusing them headshots. Throw an Aether Blade. Maybe just take care of some of the zombies. And that is that M16. Uh, sorry, that's that Disciple taken care of with the m16 just there very very nice again really strong gun really easy to get, use gun like i said the difference with this compared to the other m16 is the lack of recoil it just makes it so so easy to use because don't get me wrong the m16 normally is a powerful gun but the recoil can actually make it kind of difficult to use especially for some of you players that aren't as good at controlling things like recoil and you, know, you struggle with doing stuff like that this m16 build might be the one for you now but there actually is a mega abomination up here so i wouldn't mind seeing how quickly we can take care of a mega abomination even whilst my team go ahead and do this other contract so it's going to shoot a laser at us see how quickly we can get a head pop Did I actually just pop ahead that quickly on that mega abomination i think we might have done you know so what i'm going to do is go ahead and try and climb up top here if i can simply because then the mega abomination will just keep opening its eye and it's going to give us a nice idea of how quickly we can start taking out a Mega Abomination within this game. I need to be careful that I don't go down. Let's pop that. Take care of some of the zombies around me, just like so. But it's already down to around about half HP, which is not bad going, to be totally honest. It really isn't bad going for taking down a Mega Abomination. The Cypher wanted to come up. Can easily take care of that. Now we can jump off here. Let all the zombies come round. Mega Abomination's last eye is opening up. I don't know if we'll take it out there. We're doing a nice amount of damage to its health, just like so. Oh, it's only got a little sliver left now. Oh, I'm going to go down. There was just a lot of zombies around me there. That is just not ideal. But golden plates have kicked in. Speed cola, pop a little reload. And that should nearly be the Mega Abomination taken care of. We'll take care of some of these zombies, just like so. Mega Abomination should go down. And it has indeed gone down just like so. So it's done a really, really nice damage just then to the actual mega abomination took it down pretty quickly it really didn't struggle if i'm totally honest the only reason i went down was because there were a bunch of zombies and i got cornered 
So, so far, I'm really enjoying using this M16. It is a really, really nice gun to use. It's a very powerful gun. You saw how quickly we took down that Mega Abomination. No real problems, apart from getting cornered by about a thousand zombies. Because for some reason, I just stopped focusing on the zombies and was trying to focus on the Mega Abomination. Even though we know we can take care of the zombies without any problems as well. So, to be honest, the only other challenges I can really think for this gun is maybe a high-value target Mega Abomination and the Dark Aether Zone. The gun just feels very, very powerful. I don't really feel like we need Mags of Holding, so I'm not actually going to waste my schematic on using it. I don't feel like we need it. The gun's pretty powerful. It does a good amount of damage with 120 bullets, and with Speed Cola, as you just saw, the reload speed isn't that bad. Like, if we just take out some of these zombies around me right now, if I don't go down, that is, which it looks like I might just go ahead and do because I can't seem to get out. Somehow, manage to get out of there. I don't really know how, but yeah. We take those out. We pop a reload. It's not that bad of a reload speed. It's not the world's fastest, but... It's not the worst reload speed in the world. It's definitely, you know, you can definitely work with it. And like I said, with having 120 bullets in the magazine, it's really not going to be too bad. So for this game, I am going to be saving my Mags of Holden. If you guys wanted to see me use it with Mags of Holden, I apologize. You can go and do it yourself. I don't feel like you really need it. If I'm totally honest with you guys, it really doesn't feel like a gun that you desperately need Mags of Holden on. So I would rather save my Mags of Holden schematic for a different video that I've got in mind that I want to be making in the next couple of days where I think Mags of Holden is going to help us out a lot more than what it will with this M16. I mean, even there with a the Disciple, like, that wasn't even super close range. Quite far away from us, still managed to take it out with no problem, which is the great thing about this M16 build is just because it goes fully automatic doesn't mean you lose any of the bonuses of the M16. Like, still really good at long range. It still does really nice damage. It's still a very, very good gun to use. It just adds a nice little... It just adds some extra recoil control, makes the gun even easier to use. Honestly, might even be a little bit more powerful than just normally having it as a three burst and pack a punch in it, if I'm totally honest. And then we get a tier 2 pack of punch crystal. This has been some of the best loot I've got out of the tier 3 zone in a hot minute, if I'm totally honest with you guys. This is the one thing I'm not liking about the recent tier 3 zone and how many people are in there. Like, There's just no contracts. There is not a single contract I can get my hands on in the tier 3 zone right now. And for someone who's trying to grind the tier 3 zone, you know, really show you guys how good guns can be and things like that. Not being able to get any contracts isn't that ideal if i'm totally honest so looks like these have got a bounty target mega abomination so i'm gonna try and help them take that but also looks like my team are going to the dark aether zone so i'm not totally against going into the dark aether zone if i'm totally honest so i'm gonna join that and i'm gonna press yes and see if the rest of my team do vote to go as well so we have actually got our own mega abomination bounty target so let's go ahead and try and take this down i want to try and beat the rest of my team there do a decent bit of damage before they do all roll up. But I'm sure it's not going to be very long. Until everybody else does just seem to start rocking up. Which isn't the end of the world. As we have already taken down a Mega Abomination solo. So I'm not totally against the fact. So it's going to open its mouth. See how quickly we can get one of those heads pops. Go for that middle one. I think that's already gone. Perfect. Really didn't take us long at all just then. Going to open one of its other heads. See how quickly we can pop that one. No one else is even shooting at it I don't think. We didn't manage to pop the head somehow. But we have done nice damage to the Mega Abomination. It's really not got that much health left. Should be able to take it out here pretty much any second. There it is. Gone down as well. Perfect. Really didn't take us long there. Nothing too special in rewards out of that one, which isn't the end of the world. So I think now that we've fully tested the gun, I am just going to wait until we do end up getting to a Dark Aether Zone. If we do go to a Dark Aether Zone. And just show you guys how it gets on in that zone. So my teammate actually just put in the game chat that he's going to do the Red Worm and then the Dark Aether Zone. So... We're not going to be taking on the Dark Aether Zone. We're going to be taking on the Red Worm in this game as well with the M16. Which isn't... I'm not against, to be fair. I haven't done the Red Worm in a hot minute now, to be fair. So I'm not totally against doing that. Seeing what the M16 can do there. See if we get any better loot from the Red Worm. But I will just cut to when we start doing that. So you guys haven't watched me run around tier 3 for the next 12 minutes. Okay, guys. So any second now, the Storm is about to roll in. And we're going to be taking on the Worm. And then these guys reckon they're going to get from the Worm... All the way over to activate the Dark Aether Zone. Not too sure if they're going to be able to do it or not. So I'm very interested if they do. If we only take down the Worm, I'm not too against it. That's not really a bad go. I've not taken down the Worm for a hot minute now. So I don't mind taking that out. As opposed to doing a Dark Aether Zone. It's a little bit of something different. A little bit of a different challenge. So let's see how we do get on with the Worm first of all. But throughout this entire game, this M16 aftermarket slash conversion kit has been absolutely unbelievable. So, so powerful. No recoil on the gun. Really, really easy gun to use. Very powerful gun to use. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. And of course, I'll show you the class towards the end of the video as well. 
Okay, so it should be the worm loading in any second now, really. All the things have been done. They've been activated. So this worm should be spawning in with just in a moment here. And here we go, guys. The worm has now spawned in. Let me get my sentry gun down. Pop that down to do a little bit extra damage to it. But let's start taking down this red worm. Seeing what sort of work we can do against it with this M16. Make sure to hit those critical shots at all times, of course. A nice chunk of its health has already been done. We're already around about a quarter. Of, not, not quite a quarter of the way. We're not too far off a quarter of the way being done. Need to make sure it doesn't slam onto my head. But with six of us here, you'd like to think it shouldn't take us too long. I did actually end up losing my gas mask just there, which isn't ideal. So I did actually have to run off and buy a couple of gas masks simply for the fact. Did I buy two? No, it looks like I only did end up getting one in the end. It's not the end of the world. We have got a raw drift there, which, you know, we're not really too worried about if we're totally honest. We'll try and get this guy up as well. Need to make sure I'm keeping check on this gas mask at all times. So I do not need this gas mask to be running out of health as well. Otherwise, I'm not going to have any. So I'll refill that there. We'll start taking down the worm a little bit more whilst making our way to the other... Um, Ammo, ammo cache just so then we don't end up running out of gas masks because we really don't want to not have a gas mask in this situation. Again, we can continue just far away at the worm. Just keep spraying and spraying and spraying. You know, its health is now starting to come down quite a bit. We're really not in a bad spot at taking this thing down. Again, I'm interested to see if these guys are going to be able to get to the thingy or not. I don't know if they're going to get to the Dark Aether Zone or not. I really do not know. I'm very interested to see if they're going to be able to do it. But the red worm really does not have much health left now. I'm going to refill my ammo there. Try and make sure I've got on top of my gas masks at all times. But that is the worm's full health gone. Now let's see if these guys can get to the dark aether portal. Which number two looks like he's already going towards. It doesn't like he's messing around and wasting any time trying to do that. But let's see what loot we get out of this. We are going to get ourselves a legendary aether tool schematic and a green gas mask. Which really is not that great. Um, but you know what? I'm going to equip that because that's now going to give me full health. So I might as well take it. So it looks like he did actually make it to the Dark Aether Zone as well, which is pretty impressive, to be honest. So we'll go there and we'll see how well we get on. Okay, so let's run through this Dark Aether Zone as well. Get this done as fast as we can. As I expected, this M13, oh, sorry, M16 looks like it's going to absolutely fry within the Dark Aether Zone. I didn't think it would have any problems in this sort of zone. You know, it's been very, very strong. And very powerful throughout the whole of tier 3. So I never once expected it to struggle within this area. It looks like we're starting off with the escort contract. So I'm going to get over there as fast as I possibly can. But yeah, hopefully we can come out the Dark Aether Zone with a couple more Legendary Aether tools. And like maybe another tier 3 pack of Punch Crystal. Because our loot from this game really hasn't been bad at all. We've had maybe... We've had two Legendary Aether tools. A tier 3 and a tier 2 pack of Punch Crystal. Which really isn't bad. So we've got Mega Abomination trying to chase us. But we should be able to get that head popped on it pretty quick to be honest which didn't look like it took us very long at all i'm gonna go down if i'm not too careful but we're all good we're not too bad yeah i know i've kept saying it guys this m16 is just really really nice like it just does really nice damage to basically anything you're up against whether it's the mega abominations the disciples the mimics the manglers the normal zombies hvts it does not matter what you're coming up against this gun does really really nice damage to basically everything within the game like, there's not been anything that I've come up against where I just haven't felt like the gun was very strong, which is a very good thing of a gun. Like, it's not every gun you can use that just doesn't struggle against something. There's normally something that a lot of the guns will have. They're either good against the zombies and they're a bit of a zombie slayer, or they're really good against bosses, but they're not so great against zombies. Whereas this M16 just seems to have a little bit of everything, and I definitely do still stand by when I said this feels like it, the conversion kit feels better than the normal M16. It really, really does feel a lot better. So if you've enjoyed using the M16 at any point, I highly recommend you come along and give this a go. I really, really do recommend you come along and try out this new M16 with the aftermarket part because it really, really is a fun gun to use. But yeah, this M16 is just super, super nice. Like, it really, really is really nice. And I'll take an Aether Blade case. Why not? Can use it in my next game that I do go into. Hopefully now someone goes ahead and starts up that last contract and then we can get this wrapped up here pretty, pretty soon. I feel like I've been in this game for absolutely ages, but it's okay. It is what it is. It's one of them. It needs to get done. We've had to show off the M16 really nicely, and that's what matters. And even Disciples in the Dark Aether Zone, it is not a problem for this gun. doesn't matter what you're up against. As I keep saying, this gun is just ridiculously strong. Like, it's super, super nice to use. 
like to find a gun that quite easily takes care of absolutely everything that you come up against is kind of rare within this game like don't get me wrong there are a lot of good guns in the game but there's not so many amazing guns in the game like there's a there's a fine number of amazing guns that just are really good against absolutely everything and this m16 just might be one of those it genuinely might become one of the guns i use when i'm just trying to do runs off camera and just trying to get a bit of loot together it might be the gun i just start using because it really really is that nice of a gun but as this contract is coming to an end, guys, I am probably going to start wrapping up the video. If you do want to try out the M16 class that I'm using, it is on screen right now, so you guys can go ahead and copy it. Of course, don't forget to put the conversion kit on it or the aftermarket part so you can have the broken part of having it fully automatic. If you have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up as it helps me out way more than you guys could ever imagine. And if you have enjoyed it, be sure to go and check out the rest of the videos on the channel. whole bunch of zombies content there that I think you guys will really enjoy if you have liked today's video. And if you do enjoy it, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on to miss any more videos that I do upload on the channel. Well, we have now just finished up the final contract, guys. So hopefully, like I said, you have enjoyed it. I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end of today's video. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will catch you in the next one in a bit. Peace.